warm welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Melinda Akinami. On the program today, hundreds of APC supporters in Lagos protest against the party's national legal advisor, Ruiz Banire, for, for the opposing manner in which the local government primaries were conducted. Federal government to investigate tank farm fire that claimed 10 lives in Calabar Free Trade Zone. House of Representatives find out how the Universal Basic Education counterpart funds were utilized in states across the country. Begin with the political unrest in the ruling All Progressive Congress in Lagos State, as hundreds of party supporters and members are asking for the removal of the party's national legal advisor, Ruiz Banure. Today, the members converged on the party's state office in a protest, bearing placards, as one of their leaders read out a petition seeking the removal of Mr. Banire, whom they say has been involved in what they term as anti-party activities. Mr. Banire had written about his displeasure in the manner the local council election primaries were conducted on May the 27th, an event which turned violence and was disrupted by angry delegates. With the local council elections just four days away, the party told Channel's Television that it would conduct a fresh emergency primary in two local government areas today. We call for removal as national legal advisor and expulsion from APC for anti-party activities in Re Muiz Banere San. It is with utmost respect and loyalty to Your Excellency and our great party, APC, that we, the undersigned, on behalf of concerned, loyal, and committed party members of Mushi local government, write to you a respect of the above subject. We note with respect Your Excellency's commitment to the rule of law and will therefore willingly make ourselves available whenever required in the interest of justice to resolve this matter once and for all. We have listened with rapt attention to the points you have raised as genuine and bona fide and patriotic members of our great party. Our governor will extend this petition and draw the attention of both the state and national organs of the party to your patriotic, peaceful, and non-violent efforts. Yes. And we believe that just as it happened in the case of Timmy Frank, the party leadership will take the objective position, set up a disciplinary committee, and ask him to be tried before the Israeli committee to take the right course. And staying with party politics, Nigeria's former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, has asked members of the country's major opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to focus on rebuilding the party ahead of the 2019 general elections. He made the appeal at an expanded caucus meeting of the PDP in Abuja, the first major one it's holding since the party's long legal battle. According to the former president, the PDP has a chance to regain power at the center if the leaders are able to build party structures. Leaders of Nigeria's major opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, including Nigeria's former president, Goodluck Jonathan, gather in this hall as the PDP holds its expanded caucus meeting in Abuja. The meeting is the first of its kind in the wake of the Supreme Court judgment which put to rest the leadership tussle that threatened the unity of the party in the last 13 months. Addressing the gathering, former President Goodluck Jonathan appeals to members to focus on rebuilding the party as it has the chance to regain power at the center in 2019. The first thing we need to do is to build the party. I believe that when the party is strong, everything will be added to that. 
Whether people have individual or group interests on one way or the other, as the politicians, we must have. These are very basic things. But first and foremost, for us to strengthen the party. In the same vein, both the Senate Deputy President and the Chairman of the PDP Governors Forum urge members to rebuild the confidence of the electorates in their constituencies so that they can vote the PDP in subsequent elections. If this party must win, if this party must get its confidence or the confidence of Nigeria's back, if this party must be restored, our leaders must go home and stop being a future politician. There will be no more time for bickering. This is time for the construction. This is time for first mending. This is time to make genuine peace. In his remarks, the chairman of the PDP Ketika Committee assures members that he'll deepen the party's reconciliation efforts to reunite those who have defected to other political parties. When I addressed the press, I said, no victory, no boundaries. I will be in the latter. But I also say that you make peace, you will decide for those willing to make peace, willing to decide. The expanded caucus meeting of the PDP is well attended by chieftains of the party, including former national chairmen, serving and former governors, as well as former ministers of the PDP. However, the ousted national chairman of the PDP, Senator Ali Modu Sheriff, and his major supporters are visibly absent at the meeting, even though the Ketika committee say they were invited. Meanwhile, in Edo State, the People's Democratic Party says it has no plans to work with the present government in the development of the state. The Edo PDP chairman, Mr. Dan Obi, told journalists at a briefing in Benin City that the party remains a strong opposition to the ruling APC, led by Governor Godwin Obaseki. The leadership of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Edo State arrived the party secretariat in Benin City, the state capital. The meeting is the party's first since the Supreme Court's judgment which ended its contest for the Edo governorship seat. The Edo State Chairman of the PDP, Dan Obi, lords members for a valiant outing in the last Edo governorship election. He contends that the party will recover from the temporary setback. The probability that we may fail in this struggle ought not to deter us from the support of a cause that is just. Yes. That we have won creditably. Yes. And I believe every member of our party in the Doe State should hold his head high, yes. believing that we have done what was expected of us. Yes. We did not trade away our mandate. Among other matters for deliberation is the issue of a working relationship with the present administration. <laughs> Governor Godwin Obaseki had earlier extended an olive branch to the opposition parties after the Supreme Court's reaffirmation of his victory uh, at the polls. Every Edo citizen is most welcome to work with me. Yeah, I mean, this is our state. We've got to build it. I won on the basis of uh, APC, on the APC platform. This is an APC government. And why, why pollute it? The Edo PDP chairman categorically rejects the offer. So to God, you know, Basaki, keep your appointments. We don't believe in you. We don't believe in whatever you have to offer. The issues are very clear. We are a political party. And we believe in this party. We have already achieved so much to, for the people of this state without a lot of people realizing it. With the general elections coming up in 2019, the People's Democratic Party in Edo State wants an early start to preparations, claiming that the loss of the governorship seat in the state will not be a deterrent.